Hi you guys, I wanted to get on here and give you an update and actually um, tell you what a trauma bond is. Have you guys heard of a trauma bond? Well, sorry, I just heard of a trauma bond today and I wanted to, um, or not, I didn't hear of it today, but I finally realized what a trauma bond is. Like I, I've heard of it before in the past and I had no idea what a trauma bond was until today. So I've been separated um, from my husband for about like a couple months now and today I was having thoughts of like um, leaving him and I was going through the phases of like you know grief and I was doing the bargaining phase today where I was like well it wasn't that bad um, the you know the, the abuse and it's okay like it's fine I don't need to have my needs met and I realized um, like when I was like um, I told my friend about it and they were, they were like, no, like it was really bad. Like, what are you thinking? It's, it was bad. And then I said, you're right. Like it was bad. And then the second I said it was bad, I just started crying. And I realized that I take him back to avoid the pain of going through everything that he has done to me, the trauma, the pain of the trauma that hurts really bad. I would rather take him back than have to deal with that, admitting that he hurt me and feeling all that pain associated with what he's done to me. So it was really cool for me to like personally like have that self-awareness and feel it and see what I was doing and everything. It was really neat. And that's a trauma bond. Like that is the trauma bond is when you want to stay with them to avoid the pain that you're going to feel by admitting that they hurt you. And I don't, you don't realize that. I don't say that out loud. When I take him back, I don't say that out loud. I don't, it's all subconscious inside yourself. And so you have to push yourself to get there to where you, um, to where you're saying this yourself. You know, where you're having this self realization that you are staying with them to avoid pain. So I am not avoiding the pain. I'm going to feel the pain and hopefully I can get on the other side of this really big mountain where I feel like I'm going to die, but I'm not, or I'm going to break and I'm going to like lay in that bed forever. Cause that's what I feel like is going to happen if I leave him. Um, but yeah, so I feel good. Look, I didn't die. I felt the pain today of, um, just thinking about what he's done to me in the past and all the pain and the trauma. And I'm still here and I feel good now. I um I get panic attacks thinking about it, which is really weird because I don't like I don't get panic attacks. Like that's not me. I don't even know what a panic attack is. But um yeah, until yesterday. Now I know what panic attacks are. They're crazy. Um uh, I I feel like they're mild. I just I get really short of breath. And I notice I start taking these really deep breaths to try to catch my breath. Like I'm like, <sighs> like that. It's really, it's weird. It's weird. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at. We're currently separated. Um, I'm trying to be okay with um, getting a divorce and moving on. And it's really hard dealing with the pain. The pain hurts and I'm afraid I'm going to break and I'm not going to be able to get back up. And that trauma bond is strong. Bye.